everyone and welcome back to Sharon Cullen Art. Today I'm going to be doing a gouache painting. This one will be a little bit different. It's going to be uh, some wildflowers. I just took various photos from Google for blue coneflower, Queen Anne's lace, and some other weeds. And um, there was a request made by somebody to do some Queen Anne's lace. Now, the one I'm doing is just a very simple version, sort of in the background. Um, but anyway, you'll see how it progresses. I started out by wetting my paper. Again, I'm using that Fabriano drawing paper, which is not very heavy, but it does take gouache well. And I just uh, mix, mixed up some purple with quinacridone rose and some ultramarine blue. I used some indigo, some lemon yellow, and a little bit of white. And uh, that's all I did. So now I'm just drying it and then I'll go ahead and start. I decided though that I wanted grasses to be in the background and I should have put them in while the paper was still wet. So I'm going to wet it and then I realize I have a little dry spot with the stripe. <laughs> so then I have to wet it again. So you'll see how I do that and how I managed to keep the paint down on the paper. I think the reason for that is because it was so thin it had seeped into the layers of the paper and prevented it from lifting too much. And now here I'm going to have that stripe part way up, which didn't look real good. Now you can begin to see where the grasses are spreading out from the water on the paper, but then just above it, you get a distinct line. And I did not want that. I wanted it to be a gradual change. So I will eventually go back right here and re-wet it. And I did smear some of the green, but it really didn't matter because the whole purpose of this was to have the grasses fading into the background anyway. Now I'm going to go in with my green. I used an olive green and I added a little bit of indigo blue to it to make it real dark. And I'm just adding in some of the wildflower stems that I'll be using to make different plants. And I don't know the names of all of them. They were just taken from Google Photos online. The only two that I remember are the Queen Anne's Lace and the blue cone flower that I used for reference.
For those of you who are new to gouache and new to my channel, um, one of the things that I learned from trial and error was that when I start out with gouache, I use it very watered down and then each subsequent layer I let dry before applying a new layer on top. And I use a little bit less water mixed in with the paint with each subsequent layer. And in doing that, it helps to prevent lifting that color up from underneath. For the Queen Anne's Lace, what I'm doing is just putting the stems on and then I'm taking some white on my brush and I'm just dotting it all over. Some of the spots don't even have stems, but you can't tell once you put all the white on there anyway. Now for a true realism type of botanical painting, there'd be a lot more to it, but since this is more of an intuitive, impressionistic style of painting, it, the accuracy is not fully there.
Now here I'm adding a little bit of blue shadowing onto some of those little white flowers and then I'll be also adding highlights onto the leaves and other things just to finish up. I'm just about finished here putting on my finishing touches and putting a little more of the light blue on some of those little leaves or nubbins on the edges of those weeds and um, then I'll be all done. Sometimes you see me wipe with my finger, that's just to kind of take the excess off and, and I just blend with my finger real quickly, that's just what I'm doing there. And then that's pretty much it. And here's my finished painting. I hope everybody enjoyed this. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know that you liked it. Uh, leave comments down below on what you'd like to see next. And in the meantime, remember, be courageous, paint with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to each other. Take care. Bye-bye.